public service announcement. Um, if anyone has seen a red plaid shirt, uh, Captain America t-shirt, uh, red pants, and some Timberland boots size enormous, um, please come find me. I'm very cold. Um, something I have some unfortunate, a little, of course, a little business I have to take care of. Uh, we have to do a real quick, this is just, we usually do this during the Italian show, a real quick performance review of someone on staff. Is Nick, is Nick here? Is Nick in the audience? Nick from U Crew? Nick, would you mind? Would you mind coming up? Real, just a real quick performance for you. I know this is like kind of not very in a formal setting, even though I am. I am wearing a tuxedo, but uh, if, if you wouldn't mind, are you here? Can I see? Okay, cool. Nick, this is Nick from YouTube, everybody. Uh, doing a lot of great work so far this week. Um, I I have received a handful of complaints that I just feel I should address. Um, so. When you're working at camp, you of course have full run of the facility. You can do whatever you want. You are allowed to swim in the pool. Uh, you are perfectly allowed to swim in the pool. And I have heard on good authority that you did bring trunks. So I guess you just didn't plan on wearing them. That's, that's okay. That's fine. All right. Um, so morning wake up. You're allowed to participate in morning. You are a musician, of course, uh, um, as much of, much of the U crew are. Uh, you are allowed to participate in morning wake up. Morning wake up is traditionally playing instruments, walking through camp, playing songs, you know, traditional camp songs, usually we don't go directly into the tent cabins. <laughs> and if you, God forbid, if you do, we prefer that you leave your air horn outside <laughs> and let it be more of a casual experience. Um, when it comes to, to uh, after hours playing games in the dining hall, of course the dining hall is open until midnight, you're allowed to play games. We generally prefer the games to be things like, uh, you know, Uno or Bananagrams, not $500 buy-in poker. <laughs> and if you're gonna do that, if you could not leave your knife on the table during the game, I don't even know why you brought a giant knife. Uh, and, and lastly, we really, really wish that you wouldn't tell the younger campers that the fire drill is actually a drill made of fire. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how that would work. It's, it's just freaking everybody out. So, I mean, obviously, you should be let go. Unfortunately, that's not the kind of power that I possess. Um, all I can give you is a slap on the wrist, and legally I'm not allowed to strike you. So could you just do me a favor and make a look on your face like I slapped you on the wrist? Just look like you're in pain? Perfect, that's thank you. Thank you. Thank everybody. Give it up. We really gotta get some more people up in here. Uh, folks, we're in the home stretch. Two more acts. And I'm really excited about everything I got coming up for you guys. This has been one of the best hotel talent shows. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the two lips with Gone Fishing. Thank you. Thank you very much. We are the two lips. My name is Phil Lip. My name is Brian Lip. <laughs> Thank you. That's for you, and for you, and you, you. Okay. 
kind of go cover this side. There are a few of you out there maybe that wasn't meant for, actually. Let us see. Most of you. All right. Um, all right. Let's tune them up.
gentlemen, give it up for yourselves. Give it up for yourselves. <laughs> you know, we know you had many other options of entertainment tonight. We appreciate you choosing the Untitled Show.
gentlemen. All right, folks, all right, folks, we got one more act. One we have an encore. One very special surprise. You didn't request an encore, but you're going to get one. Get the encore. This is great. Straight, give it up for our special guest, straight from Hollywood, California. Let him hear it, let him hear it, come on. Wow, that was great. <laughs> uh, so this is my first time in Casadero. Oh my God. <laughs> How are you liking it, Kirby? Well, that was wild. And he cut his hair off on stage. I, I don't think I want to cut mine off, Kirby. I don't have any hair on frog, Miss Piggy. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm Kermit. Yeah. Yeah. Kermit frog. <laughs> And this is Miss Piggy. Hi! Uh, real quick, uh, can you guys give a big round of applause to all the performers tonight? I'm standing in a pile of hair, Kirby. Yes, you are, Miss Piggy. Very strange. People are weird. And uh, this is my friend Steve. Question? Yes, Kirby? Um, well, you've been friends for a long time now, Miss Piggy. Yes, too long, Kirby. Yeah. Too long. <laughs> well, is something you want to ask me? Yes, Miss Piggy, you're, you're very special to me, Miss Piggy, and I was wondering if um, maybe you uh like to sing a song with me? Sure. <laughs> I'll Great. sing your song. Boys and girls, did you know the words? You may sing along with us too. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? I'm not really sure. What's on the other side? Where's your part, Miss Piggy? Oh, thanks for me. Rainbows are visions. Good. But only illusions. Mm -hmm. So we've been told and some choose to believe it, but I know the wrong way and see. It's great. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Wow. So oh, good, guys. <laughs> Who said that every wish would be heard and answered when wished on the morning star?
Oh, that's our show! That's the Academy Show!